my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Continuing with Robin Williams Memorial Week is House of D. Many people have not heard of this film. After this review, I recommend that you go watch it. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. Let's get to talking about this film. House of D is a 2004 film about a preteen boy who is trying to understand life. Having gone through many tragedies of his own, Tommy looks at the good in life, going on adventures with his good old friend Pappas, and making his unstable mother laugh. Over time, I have learned how important it is to rewatch movies. House of D is a well acted film. What makes this film so memorable are the terrific performances delivered by the late Anton Yelchin and Robin Williams. Life is not always easy. House of D expresses how important it is to look on the bright side of life and run after your dreams. Tommy is a clown who enjoys being a rebel. But that's not how his life is. Anton Yelchin dove into his character. He was a natural. I commend his powerful, honest, emotional performance when Tommy's life is crumbling to pieces. My favorite aspect of Tommy's character is how he makes it his job to look after those who are supposed to be taking care of him. Tommy's relationship with each character reflects his different personalities and how they have affected him. You can never go wrong with Robin Williams. I always liked how Williams was open to playing a different range of characters on the screen. Pappas is a mentally challenged man who looks up to Tommy. At first, I thought his arc had a few issues. After a second viewing, Pappas' journey reflects the true moral of his character. The friendship that Tommy and Pappas share is endearing. Anybody can be friends. While the film is based more on Tommy's perspective, Pappas learns a valuable lesson that helps him think differently about himself. Labels change. The casting choices for House of D are remarkable. Taya Leone, Erica Badu, David Duchovny, Frank Langella, Zelda Williams, Orlando Jones, and many more brought this deep story to life. There is no such thing as a small part. Each character evolved. Change is real. Honorable mention goes to Erica Badu as a woman who is detained. I like how she became an unexpected character to help Tommy. The way they communicate is creative with Badu holding a glass high above in her chamber so she can see out onto the streets. You never know who is going to help you in life. The setting for House of D acts as a character of its own. New York City was a great location spot. Whether it was intentional, I like how closed off spaces made for genuine instances of feeling trapped. Now that Tommy is not out in the open, he's forced to confront his reality in these tight spaces. The film also dons a message about how important it is to travel. The writing for House of D is the strongest element. I did not realize that David Duchovny not only acted as a significant character, but he also directed and wrote this feature. Duchovny did an excellent job in this well-told heartfelt story drawing audiences in. It's a character-driven film. Life is hard. Change is real. Accept change. Places change like people change. In a way, the film has two stories. Avoiding childhood memories and the place in which you grew up is not the path to fall. Keep memories alive. House of D is one of the most underrated Robin Williams films. I recommend that you find it and watch it. It has a deep story about growing up, even when you're an adult. This film will forever preserve the talents of the late Yelchin and Williams. Thanks for catching my review of House of D. What is one lesson that you learned from Robin Williams? What is your favorite Robin Williams film? Look forward to more film reviews for Robin Williams Memorial Week. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.